Hi, I'm Crafty Candy with craftycandy.blogspot.com. Today I have a mini album I made based on my sister Scrapper's um, tutorial pocket tutorial. I'll, I'll put the link to the first one down below. I think there's five in the in the series that walks you through the whole step. It's a Kathy Orta style hinge. Um, and the pages seem a little bit like a Kathy Orta style too, but they're they're more embellished and more in that my sister scrapper blinged up style, which I, I really like. I like Kathy Orta's um, designs, but sometimes I feel like I want more of the frill so that between the two of them, I really get the look I want. So this is the mini. It's really thick. And I put the title on the spine uh, this time, which is something I don't, I don't ever do. I think I might need to add a little bling too, but titles on the back as just a simple paper. The paper is a combination of Echo Park, um, Remember When, um, Webster's Pages, it's just a bunch of 6x6 six six I'd had in my stash. Um, and I liked them and I'd been hoarding them and they weren't quite right for most greeting cards. Um, and so I made them into with them. I'm crooked. Yikes, let me see if I can make myself not crooked. That help a little. Okay, so on the cover I have some metal corners uh, from Michael's Tim Holtz ornate frame um, here, and some. Most of these are wild orchid craft flowers. Some pearl color gets a little lost that way. Some pearl wheat there. Carnations and roses. Good stuff. Um, the inside cover is plain. I may fix that later, but for now it's plain. Uh, and the page, there are three pages that flip like this. Um, and they all have a tag inside, and the papers are different. See, that's a Webster's Pages one. And that's a My Mind's Eye collection. I went with, I focused on pink and gray and green for kind of the colors. Um, but other than that, I let it be kind of eclectic. Um, and maybe a little crooked. I put my acetate on crooked and I didn't change it and I'm not going to. We're just going to pretend like that's how the bird is supposed to be. Anyway, acetate, um, the photo can slip down in here. On this side, isn't this flower amazing? This is from Chris at um, the Marie Antoinette group. Absolutely gorgeous flower and a crown. I after I put the book together, I wish I had saved this and used this on the cover. I didn't. I, I pulled it in with these crowns from the paper collection. A sticker from here. There's also some Echo Park um, Victorian Garden stickers and a little bit of, of paper and tags in here. Really, it's it was just a big eclectic stuff I've been saving kind of thing. Oh, and this is missing tags. Oh, two tags go in here. I'll do those later. Um, a journaling spot. This is from the Echo Park collection. Some paper flowers from Michael's. Opens up. This is a pocket. This is the Western Romance um, journaling tags from Webster's Pages. That was a leftover from my sister-in-law's mini. Um, some little bitty tags I just stamped up and put a sticker on. In that little pocket. Um, this I don't think Kathy Orta's book does it this way. I know my sister Scrapper does. She puts the two tags over here. Um, they each have a tag that pulls out, and the tags are identical except for the little um, lines on it here. Um, beautiful flower from a flower swap. Another little metal corner, a metal filigree piece um, with a kind of vintagey looking button there. And then the pages flip over. They're half pages like this, just a sticker from the Echo Park Victorian Garden collection. Um, a six by six from one of the paper packs I've been hoarding. A little pocket here. A couple of tags. These are these journaling spots that I get at Joann's that are super, I think they're like in their dollar fifty bin or whatever. Um another pocket over here. This gray polka dots. I really liked that. I thought that was fun. Prima. That gray is from that Prima uh, printery collection. Yeah, I love that. It's not really suitable for cards. When I bought it, I, I bought it because it just was so pretty, but it, it works better in a mini. So both of these pages flip up. This one has some um, paper flowers, a corduroy gray button from um, 
Stampin' Up, a little bit of ribbon, a little belly band there. This lifts up. This one also lifts up. This one has a flower I colored with my gray smooch from Stampin' Up. That green's a little bright, that's why I put it underneath this page. And this gets tucked under the little chipboard piece there. And this one got a little too tucked under. Um, a pretty gray frame here. This was from a chipboard collection. Most of these, the big chipboard pieces, are from this. I bought this, I think it was Tuesday morning. Just had a bunch of cute little kind of romance ones that didn't fit for anything I was working on. But um, if I just stuck with the colors of them, they, they seemed to work. Oh, this one says kiss. A couple of little tags in here. Another um, sticker for a title up here. This is um, an interactive page. I did it just, just exactly the way my sister Scrapper did it. I added some bling on mine. I had lots of bling. And just some, kept it simple on the inside to hold some photos. Um, I made a tag out of this gorgeous May Arts ribbon. Isn't this so fun here? A couple of tags. Made a pocket out of that ribbon. A couple of tags from this same little thing from Joann's. Um... So that's it. It came together pretty quick. I worked on it over the weekend as I had a couple hours here and there. So other than the two tags I forgot. Oops. Um, I think altogether six hours. And that's for the construction. Oops, sorry. For the construction of the book, which is a really, it's a pretty good sturdy book. So um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this one. I think I might throw this one up on uh, Etsy and, and see. So if anybody wants the listing, let me know. I, I, I did it because I've been hoarding these things and I just love them. I don't have a particular purpose for it. Um, but if somebody would like it, if somebody would like to, um, know about the listing on Etsy, let me know and I'll share. But otherwise, thanks so much. Have a good night.